It's uh, midnight, and we are back on the block-centric server. We're back at spawn, and I guess some silly prankster is going around building pillars out of nether quartz and nether rack. Uh, I guess it's... I hope it's a prank. I hope it's temporary, because it's, um, you know didn't really go with uh, what we got going on here. I saw Moose built some kind of cool little quartz business over here. I guess he's collecting quartz for his uh, underwater base. Our future uh, Germanic Aquaman. So that's all very cool. But in, in this episode, I just wanted to uh, take us into the nether for one last segment Lord, Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Our last segment talking about the nether tunnel because it be done. And D Face is over there doing things. I don't know what that's about. So here it is the finished nether tunnel. So what we had, what I decided to do with the nether tunnel stations, I guess you call the things at either end of your nether tunnel, the stations is, uh, kind of modeled it after uh, the spawn house in the in the way it looks uh, I know that a lot of other folks in their tunnels have kind of modeled you know some aspect of their builds so it's unique to them and so I since I don't have any other builds at the mo at the moment uh, I went with uh, the the look of the spawn house with the same colors and this is basically what the um, tunnels themselves look like so I think this turned out pretty nice if I do say so myself uh, redstone lamps light in the way <clears throat> excuse me a pretty uh, rudimentary for the moment uh, minecart system you step on the pressure plate you get a minecart you go off that away when you come back it, it takes the first turn here it's not a left turn so this will not take you to Albuquerque uh, which will knock into the cactus uh, drops into the hopper goes over here into the dispenser and yeah so that pops out and then we get into cart and then we push a little push and then we go 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 now I still have problems with uh, pigman spawning oh you know what stop I didn't show you the other part um, I still have problems with pigman spawning on the track, even though we were told in one point, Lord only knows, one point, was it one point four, something where they, where the, oh, mobs are going to be afraid of tracks from now on. You won't ever have to put slabs on your tracks anymore because they're going to be afraid. Uh, they're not afraid of nothing. They're not afraid, especially zombie pigmen aren't afraid. Anyway. So, as a fun little mini game, what we have is uh, snowballs. And so, what you do is you grab you some snowballs, and while you're riding on the track, you try to peg some zombies. Now, you want to be careful, naturally, not to make it so that they are knocked onto the track, because that's a problem. You can also hit some villagers. Here. Whoa! You can't hit villagers if they're too close, because then you'll try to do some drive-by trading with them. So don't do that. But if you're coming through here, isn't this beautiful? Peg you some zombies. Pew, 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 pew. And what's cool about that, let's stop here. What's cool about that is they will aggro to you. Hey guys. And they will, um, they can't get over, but it shifts the way that they 
um, orient themselves because once you leave the chunk they'll forget about you but it makes it so that uh, they're not always in the same place every time because they'll aggro and then they'll move toward you and then you'll leave and then they will forget about you and then they will, their uh, AI will set them on a different uh, villager. And so, you know, it doesn't stay static the whole time. So that's kind of cool, I suppose. And then this is our very long tunnel that takes us to our new base. Now, hang on a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just got a call from Moose. Apparently, there is some issue with nether quartz and it being dangerous and Drakkart's upset about it. I, I don't even know what he's talking about, so, but uh, let's just, clearly this is going to have to wait a little bit. Um, let me get to the end of the track so I can show you the end. Uh, but Moose, if you can believe it, needs a lawyer. Um, so I'm going to have to go back, change into my suit, and meet with Moose. Um, after I do that, uh, we will uh, come back here and check out the base and everything. But here is the other... Uh, you know, end of the tunnel. I don't know what you call these things. Um, and the, you know, kind of looks the same. It's samey. It's not identical to the one in the beginning. It just carries the theme of the spawn house over uh, with the gray and the whatnot. So I thought it turned out uh, pretty nice looking, but I'm biased because I spent all that time trying to figure it out. Uh, but let me, let's go uh, change into our lawyer suit. We'll go meet with Moose, and we will... It's a noisy portal. Uh, we'll be back in a little bit. Uh, so as you know, last episode, I uh, got into a bit of trouble here because, yeah, this information kiosk seems to be a bit illegal and dangerous uh, and other kinds of stuff. And as I'm not a man of law, um, I just will contact the man of law and... Here he lives, uh, Midnight Designer's house. Just get in there. Maybe he is uh, working or stuff, or he's there. And are you there? Oh, he's there. Hello. Hey, Moose. What's up? Um, I need your help because uh, the mayor of our town, uh, what's Dracard, of course, um, wants um, to move my information kiosk and wants to sue me for that. Because, yeah, obviously trading with uh, dangerous, high, highly infected material from the nether uh, causing bad diseases is illegal. Um, did you know that? This is atrocious. This is unbelievable. Your rights are being violated, Moose. I cannot... Drakkart said this to you? Yeah, totally. I'm, I'm, I was very afraid. Is you it... have, my friend, a property right in being able to open a store wherever you want and ply your trade. That is the foundation of our system of jurisprudence here on, on the server. I cannot believe that Drakkart is going to take away one of your fundamental rights simply because he's afraid of a little hoobo jubu. <laughs> a little what? A little hoobo jubu. Is, is that a... a a term of law or something? Well, probably this quartz is perfectly safe. I would imagine that all of these claims about the dangers of the quartz are highly exaggerated, and I wouldn't be surprised if Drakkart was in it just to make a little extra money, if you know what I mean. So, well, you would, I you think, would think we he, need he to... Would do something? Are you kidding? Seriously. He's the mayor. He's a politician. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to file a countersuit. We are going to sue the server and Drakkart. And, well, probably not everybody on it because they all poor. But, <laughs> and get us a writ of prohibition to prevent them from taking action against you, my friend and client. Please pay the retainer. But <laughs> you need to, you need, you know, I ain't doing this pro bono. You know what I'm saying? I need to get a little something, something up in my pockets. 
But um, I guess we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that later. You're good for it. But right now, probably what I need to do to prepare my initial briefs is to see the site so that uh, I can, you know, get the information correct on my filings. All right. Uh, So why don't we start there? I should uh, think we start uh, checking out the information kiosk, uh, which record uh, thinks it's dangerous, but Uh, uh, follow me, sir. (laughs) I think in some ways, Drakkard is very womanly. And in his (laughs) exaggerated fears of courts, that womanliness has shown through. Yeah, you see, he thinks this is dangerous because I'm keeping see, uh, that. The, the quartz here, but this is a kiosk to inform people how uh, dangerous the quartz is. And there is no quartz down there because I'm taking it to a safe quarantine, uh, very well hidden and uh, yeah, with all the safety you could imagine, I think. Yes, now see, in my estimation, this is a flagrant attempt by big government to step on the small businessman, that small businessman being yourself. So, I am fully convinced that this place is safe. Now, there is a, a separate facility off-site, is that correct? Yeah, that's totally correct, because I'm not that dumb to keep uh, the quartz here. Or right, the, I per- am the perfectly here, safe but... quartz. Um, right, that's what we got it. We got to say perfectly safe. Say it with um, me. I got Say it with perfectly me. S- s- safe. That a boy. All right, let's go see the second site. Okay, we go there and all right, we'll check cut it out. away and be right back. <laughs> so this is the facility here. Is that correct? That's totally correct. This is my little uh, yeah welcome desk, and here we go into the facility. It's for authorized moose personnel only, but uh, in this case, I guess. You have a right to see what's behind those doors, right? All right, let's go. Let's go then. Get here. See, this is a nice wooden button. Give you a little extra yeah. <laughs> open door. So, time. Um, first, those two chests. Please leave uh, the things which could get uh, easy contaminated see? in this chest, like uh, your uh, suit or weapons or tools or stuff. Above, Just... above OSHA standards. This yeah, is and... quite good. Quite good. I'm gonna and grab take one of these one of suits. Your anti-quartz Pure, infection suits purely precautionary obviously because yeah because we're it's gonna be fine dangerous zone, dangerous zone here no it's not stop no, talking it, like totally it. safe but right we, we have Let's to treat until moving. until our experts are really sure we have to uh, take highly by, standards and by experts you mean a jury of your peers okay let's move yeah the quarantine area behind this door so now it's could get uh, dangerous i don't know it could it could, could use a wood button so yeah we nice you have this little safety, safety lock. lock um yeah just for extra safety and okay sh- shall we get in we open okay, that follow me and then we have those chests here which are approved to be very quartz safe and in those chests yeah Oh, see, this is... All kinds of uh, this quartz is store. Fine. I would bring my children down here to play. This is... this. <laughs> see? They're already here. <laughs> All right, well, let's go back uh, to the table and talk some strategy. Yeah. Just have to... And wooden buttons. I'm going to... That'll be the first investment. Wooden go, buttons. Go, Just open go, a freaking door. <laughs> yeah. Go do... I opened the door for you. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, come on, you're doing this on purpose. No, I am not. Okay, we're gonna have to talk about the door. <laughs> yeah, go through. Man, move. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right, now we're so, out. So the, the biggest so clearly, in this facility is uh, the buttons. <laughs> yes, but I once we, we get can, wooden buttons, we can, we'll be we fine. Take, or, yeah, uh, we suits. can we can remove our purely prophylactic protection suits. <laughs> yeah. So what now, do you think of this facility? I am convinced beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are being wrongly persecuted as a small business owner, the backbone of the culture of this server is built on farmers and small businessmen 
and to have big Drakkar government pushing around the little guy like this is an abomination. This facility is perfectly safe. I stage my reputation on it. Um. Perfectly good. safe. Um, I guess we should get out well, there and well, well, wear our little that? suits. Nothing, well, just uh, take on your anti-quartz infection suit. I heard and... an explosion. No, 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 there was nothing. Just, uh, no, would no, you no, take no, on no. your suit? I heard an suit? explosion. I'm <laughs> out of here. You don't need no lawyers with explosions. But um, I'll send you a bill and we'll get this suit filed right away. Perfectly safe. That's what we're saying. Perfect. Uh, Where's the door? Where's the door? <laughs> Here, you, uh, Mr. Lawyer, here you. Um... Okay, like I said, perfectly safe. I, yeah, my yeah, children, yeah. I'd bring yeah. them down here, but not right now. So I'll, I'll bring I your children talk... back. No, 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 just mail me. You stay right back there. I'll mail you the check. Uh, um... Yeah, that's good. All right, Moose, I'll talk to you later. You stay way back there, and uh, I'll be fine. I'll see you later. Um. Okay, we are back. So. Yeah, there's that. So, we now have a client and a legal issue about quartz that may or may not be safe. Oh my goodness. So here is where um, we are going to live our lives on this server. As you can see, I have built a very fancy uh, home base uh, to start off. Uh, I don't know how much of this I've shown. Uh, we, uh, I did a bit of it uh, live stream, as you know, Pat, because you were there. Um, and what we have here, first of all, I've moved all my worldly possessions to the base. Um, we have... Um, 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 <laughs> we have sugarcane farm here, down here. We have our mine. Bum, 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 bum. Clank, clank. We have a cave up there that we need to investigate. Apparently, we have a cave up there we need to investigate. Oh, we have slime down here. We need to eviscerate. Oh, you fall. You hurt your slime. Give me your balls. <laughs> oh, look. So, yes. So, here's our mine. It is pretty extraordinarily ordinary. But it has been good to us. It has given us diamonds of plenty. So I hear, I hear you in there, slime. I'll come liber liberate you from your balls on a later date. And then up in here we got all kind of nonsense. Where, where? Anyway, so that's the mine, sugar cane. And then over here, we have just the basics of ca the most fundamentally rudimentary elementary cow farm you can have which is some cows and some wheat then in here we should have <laughs> a fire aspect looting sword and so that is my high tech no redstone required no uh, you know cow cook I know you your day will come uh, that is my high-tech cow farm for the moment. A bunch of cows and a looting fire aspect sword. FTW. Oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry guys. Sorry Pat. I will be back in just a second. Let me just... Okay. You are not going to believe this. Um... So Drakart apparently, um, well, and all this stuff has been happening while I was busy entertaining you in the nether, uh, Drakart has enlisted the help of Nightman, who I guess is some kind of uh, costumed uh, vigilante type, 
uh, no relation to any major DC character. Uh, so Nightman is investigating this quartz thing with Moose and um, oh, are you kidding me? And so everybody on the server is freaking out about quartz and okay let me give you a peek behind the fourth wall. No, I pierced the fourth wall, a peek behind the curtain, you peek behind the fourth, I'll give you a peek behind the fourth curtain. I don't record these things at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. It is nighttime where I am right now, Pat. I know you're probably watching this, you know, during the day. And it's it's the middle of the night when I'm recording this. And Nightman is doing this thing. I got to go find a federal judge at this hour and get an order stopping Nightman from creating chaos. I mean, the poor guy just wants to run a shop it might be it's not dangerous probably um and as soon as i hire some experts to say that um that's what they'll say and it won't be dangerous anymore so but right now nightman is kicking up the nonsense and i gotta wake up a judge <sighs> all right well this is not gonna be pleasant for me uh but i think i know a judge uh, let me go let me go work this out and then we got to go find Nightman and probably because he's Nightman we got to wait till dark and he's probably gonna look like my kid in his pajamas but whatever um, okay so let me do all that and uh, we'll, we'll go find Nightman all right I know there's a problem here it's not perfectly safe I don't care what anybody says it's not perfectly safe I gotta find a cure. I have to find a cure. And I gotta find it fast. Who's that? Hey yo, night night boy. Where are you? Who's that? Is that I wanna you, talk to you. What do you want, Shyster? A creature of the night. Where are you? Present right. yourself. I'm right behind you. What do you want? Oh, good lord. What? Halloween is not for another month. You you and I need to talk. What do you want? It's my understanding that you have been going around raising a lot of nonsense about this scare with the quartz. <laughs> scare, huh? I'll get to the bottom of it. What do you got to say about that? Oh, I got a lot to say about it, but we don't have time to talk about what I have to say about it. And quite frankly, Mr. Man, is that your action? Is that your Christian birth name? Don't worry about, uh, about what my name All is. Right. Well, it's probably fine. It's what we've written on these court orders. Because like I said, it's not important what I have to say about what you're doing. Your nonsense, it's what the judge has to say about your nonsense. Here, Mr. Man, is a court order, and why don't you take a couple steps back? You smell like fish oil and despair. Yeah. That is a court order telling you to cease and desist from any more discussions with anybody on this server about quartz, contaminated quartz, the dangers of contaminated quartz, anything related to nether brick material do you understand oh i get you you think i'm scared of a little piece of paper no i don't think you're scared of a little piece of paper i think you have a mental defect but i brought more little pieces of paper there's another one that is specifically about you has your name on it i recognize it's not an orange crayon as the custom you are used to but it's the best the federal courts could do on such short notice. Now there is a piece of paper with some legal mumbo jumbo that will explain the details, the constraints upon which you are now to operate. You are not to speak to any member of this server about courts or courts related matters. Mustalai is operating a perfectly legitimate small business you as the muscle behind big Drakkar government are going to stay 100 feet away from that establishment at all times. Do you understand? 
Violation of this order will result in a jail term of no less than 30 days and suspension from the server. Hmm. I'm not scared of you. You don't have to be of scared of me. Pieces of paper, and I'm not you scared be scared of, of the judge. And if you violate that order, well, I don't even want to. I don't even want to talk about the consequences. But they will be severe, and they will be immediate. Now, I trust we're not going to have to have this conversation again. We won't have to have this conversation again. Fantastic. Take, take your fantastic fancy suit and your bad insults and go on home. Well, I, it doesn't matter to me whether we get along or not, but at the end of the day, you need to follow the law. There's a system in place, and you will work inside the system. Do you understand? I'm above the law. I'm the night man. No one's above the law, Mr. Man. Good night to you, sir. I am. Okay, Pat, we are back. Um, I tell you what, um, I know I'm kind of punting on this one, but between uh, meeting with Moose, getting to the courthouse, talking to a federal judge, and then finding Nightman, um, you know, we're about out of time for this episode so I tell you what we are going to cut it off here and when we get back we are going to start working on our new base and it will be amazing probably but for sure it will be funny <laughs> I'm sorry it's late and I'm tired federal judges are mean well I gotta get out of here but I have been Midnight Designer. We have been playing on the block-centric server. If you've liked this video, please hit the like button. I'd appreciate it. If you want to leave some suggestions, please leave those in the comments below. And if you would like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to spend more time with you. But as for me, I'm going to bed. But thank you very much for watching, Pat. I always appreciate it, and have a great day. I can feel a change.